have many questions. Why COVID lighting vaccine? How does COVID lighting vaccine work? Why is it taking so long to develop a coronavirus vaccine? What problems we may face after a COVID lighting vaccine ready? Hi! Welcome back to my channel. This is Hannah from Holland. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. And if this is the first time you are visiting my channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell for more videos. Thank you so much for your support! Hey my friends, um, this weekend the weather is extremely beautiful in Holland. Normally I could take a bicycle or a car or the train to go somewhere with my family. But because of the coronavirus, I'm here at home to make this video to share with you whatever I've read from all kind of news, you know, globally, all kind of news. Uh, we all see in this month how many problems the coronavirus brings us, not only for the economy, but also for the society. People are dying every day. And children don't go to school. Companies go bankruptcy, people are losing jobs, many people really hood going away and for many people this period is very very hard to bear. The healthcare systems all over us overwhelming. I must have question all the time, how long can we still keep the country's lockdown like this? You know, it lost. What's the best solution to solve this COVID-19 pandemic? When will we be able to get out of this situation? When? How? And how long? I'm questioning all the time. Don't you? Okay, there's one good thing about this uh, virus is uh, the air earth is less polluted in this period. You see, also, when the bad thing happens, it may bring some good things along its way too. <laughs> I'm a very positive person. I see the good thing everywhere. I see good things and good people everywhere. Also in the good situation, in the best situation. Okay, to answer my own questions, I read a lot of news from everywhere. And I found that everyone says that the best solution for COVID-19 is the vaccine. Okay, then why a vaccine? That is the other question. And yes, a good vaccine will protect us from the virus and save life and have society return to functioning as normal. There is doubt that vaccines have protected us from deadly patterns for hundreds of years. The World Health Organization says that vaccines save 2 up to 3 million lives a year. Misinformation and running truth in the science and the government has pure an anti-vaccine movement among those who question the safety. I know. You know, there are always mistakes in all sectors, but I myself believe that uh, the good science can make our life much better each day. And yes, vaccines remain a crucial ever to keeping dangerous diseases at bay. So scientists around the world now are racing to develop a vaccine, coronavirus, that has killed more than 50,000 people in less than four months. But I think the real death number is much higher than they can report. Many companies and institutions are working on this vaccine and some have already be begun the first phase of uh, clinical trials. But it will take at least one year or one year and a half before a vaccine is ready, if everything goes fine, if everything goes well. But why? Why is it taking so long to create a vaccine? We will learn it together, but first of all, let's see how a vaccine works. I'm very curious to explain it to you, what I have learned so far. We all know that medicines cure disease, but vaccines don't. Vaccines prevent you from getting infected in the first place. Vaccines contain the same germ or part of germ that causes the disease, but in the cured or weakened state, so that it's can make you sick. 
All vaccines work by convincing the body's immune system to allow to mouse the respond to a foreign invader, invader, whether it is a virus, bacterium, or parasite. Classic methods involve taking a whole virus, weakening or killing it, then injecting its remain into a person's body. That's how traditional vaccines were made for smallpox, measures, and flu. This old school technique relies or relies on their immunosystems reacting to individual proteins made by the germ. Typically, once that's called the visor surface and that's when cause the body to churn. Over the time, vaccine makers realized that they didn't lead a whole visor but could substitute a single protein to generate a robust immune response. These protein-based vaccines are easier and cheaper to make and have become most common variety used by healthcare professionals. Okay, I should not talk too much about uh, about what <laughs> about this because I'm not a scientist who really learning about Corolla visors. <laughs> I'm just learning from their <laughs> the new papers and uh, magazines. Okay, let me finish how does the vaccine work. When you are injected a vaccine, your immune system learns about the pathogen, stores information about it, and produce antibodies. To again is so the next time it appears, the body can fight it off. You know, vaccines have been around only for a couple hundred years, but the concept of the inoculating our share against disease has a very long history. Guys, based on early evidence that coronavirus patients can produce antibodies, the protein in blood in block that attacks and neutralizes the virus, we have a good hope for a good vaccine against the COVID-19. The current COVID-19 trials aren't due to due for a complacent till spring 2021 or much later. There's a good reason to allow time for safety check. Some people are optimistic about Corolla virus vaccine could be available by this November, but most of scientists agree. It will take minimum 12 to, uh, to 18 months to develop a vaccine. You know, some vaccinations can take up for decay or more to approach and license it for you. You know, if we can produce a vaccine in 18 months, it could be a remarkable feat. According to the World Health Organization, DOCS companies and universities are now racing to develop a COVID-19 vaccine with at least 62 efforts currently underway. Experts uh, all around the world are very optimistic that the vaccine will improve successfully. Now, we find the, the answer for the question. Why it takes so long for a vaccine to be public you? Okay, here is the answer. You know, most of vaccine developers could do animal testing before testing on human trials. I'm sorry for animals. Um, after the test on animals, there are still several processes that need to be followed in human trials. The clinical development of a vaccine in human trials usually has three phases. Uh, phase 1 trials are more skill to essentially assess whether the vaccine is safe in human or not. And also see if it can trigger the right parts of the body immunity without causing damage. Uh, this phase usually involves around 100 participants and it normally takes several months to complete this first phase. Phase 2 trials are much longer often involving several hundreds of subjects. Many evaluate the efficiency of the vaccine against the disease. This can last several months to several years. It's a lot of time. The last phase even larger scale of thousands of people, often across several medical facilities. This phase can last for months or even a few years. A bad vaccine is worse than the virus. 
That's why it takes so long to develop a vaccine, you know. And finally, if a good vaccine is found to be safe and effective to all humans, remember, guy, remember to all humans, it's not so easy. We are all different. And if we need to pass the necessary regulatory approvals, this also takes time, you know. And a cross-effective way of making the vaccine will also need to be in place before the final vaccine is ready for delivery. Also, when we have vaccine, there are other issues to fit, like who gets the vaccine first, how it's caused, how about people can't pay? You know, the big, the big, the big worries is that the world's poorest people don't get honors in this process of vaccine. Maybe world leaders may need to come together to sign a global access agreement. COVID-19 vaccine does emerge. One very big open question is how long immunity may last? Guys, I'm already a bit confused about this big issue. I hope you are not. Okay guys, as you see, it takes long time to have the COVID-19 vaccine. So what can we do now while waiting for it? I think the most uh, valuable thing we can do to help healthcare workers is to follow public health recommendations, practice social distance, wash your hands, touching your face as less as possible when you are outside. This is a little bit difficult for me. Sometimes I forget and I touch my hand on my face anyway. <laughs> Friends, please take as many precautions as uh, you can to prevent yourself from getting this infection. Keep the distance of one, two or three meters from each other, which is advised by your local government and so on. Let's work together and hope for the best solution to get out of this coronavirus pandemic. Be safe everyone. I hope my video is interesting or are you fool for someone? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to encourage me to make more beautiful videos video to share with you. Thank you so much for your support. See you soon, my friends. Happy Sunday.